Hello guys and welcome to the channel. Today I will show you how to make a clean architectural callout from a section. It will contain text, filled regions, dimensions and some other things that I will show you along the way. So the callout that we will make is right here, as you can see in the 3D model. So it will be pleasing for the eye and easy to understand uh, the detail. We will go to the section to see where the color is. So, section AA. As you can see, here is a section, and over there we have uh, the purple box. The purple box is the color itself. This specifies the detail that we are going to work on. To place a callout, you go to the view tab right here above view tab here you see call out you click on it then you can place the purple box so the call it itself where you want and that's how easy it is so for example we're going to place it um, right here so you just click and click again so as you see, that's how easy it is to make a call out. Now we can going to delete this one because we don't need it anymore. So, uh, of course, click OK. So, let's get into the call out. For the call out, you click on the purple box. Right click and go to view right here. That will get us into the callout itself, so we can start creating our architectural detail. This is a result you will get when you go for the first time into the callout, not looking that great. So at first you're gonna check the scale, it's now 150. That's important because that determines the scale of your annotation and the space you will have left. So let's set it on 120 or 110. But for this video, we will set it on 120 and see what happened. Now, as you already can see, the, te the text has changed and it's already better to read. So the next thing we're gonna do is a detail level. Now, as you can see, it stands on the course and you don't really know what's going on here in the detail. So let's set it to fine and see what happens. Now, that's a huge difference. You can uh, already see much more, like the different materials that are here in this detail. For example, the insulation and the tiles here on top. Now, the third that you need to do is to set the depth cue. So your detail comes more alive and it's better to see which materials you're cutting through, else it will be difficult to see. How you change that? is right here on the little cube. You click on it and there will be a menu, menu that pops up. I always like to set it on consistent colors, but the other important thing is that queue. For that, you go to the display options, or graphic display options. You click on it and now we will have another menu. So let's uh, set the lines smoother. Let's set on Abend shadows and now the depth queue. Set it on and of course the consistent colors as I told you. Now apply and you already can see the difference how much better it looks right now. So um, for the fade limit the darkener is like for example this tree is further away. So if you want to see the tree a bit more, you can set it a darkener like this. You click apply and now you, the tree uh, comes more to the front. But in a detail you don't want, want that because it interrupts the detail and you don't want to see the tree as much. So let's set it back on 15. 
click apply and that's really better so the materials are coming more alive and that's what we need now click OK so it will be like this now as you can see this is a good start to to start annotating and explain the detail itself so let's start putting some annotations on it first I'm gonna remove or hide the levels because we don't need them in the detail so hide in view category now we're gonna go to the annotate tab and set the elevations so we can clearly see which height it is oh this is too far <laughs> okay <clears throat> so the next step we're gonna change this insulation because it's a soft insulation like a rock wool and we need another um, uh, hatch on it so we're gonna use the insulation hatch right here so first we're gonna select the two materials gonna try tab yes okay I have him now override graphics in view by element now it's the cut pattern because we are cutting the material so we're gonna make it a solid fill and the right color okay apply let's go so now we're gonna measure the width for the insulation hatch 70 right now we go right here 70 okay right in the center there we go <clears throat> now we're gonna measure the next one 19 again here on the annotate tab insulation 90 but now I'm gonna do not the center because it will be hard to f find the center of it so I'm gonna use the far side so as you can see I can click right here and now it's the far side so that's okay boom there you go now the next part we're gonna do is cover this because the hatch is not really where it's supposed to be so we're gonna cover this with a filter region how you do that you go to the annotate tab go to filter region you click on it now we need the exact same contours so the easy way to do that is to uh, pick lines and you just need to click on the lines oh and it will automatically copy the lines now for this part we're gonna use the trim tool that's tr so it will automatically connect the lines there you go and it's already the good one so whoop oh uh, yeah it's a good one no not the right one uh, gonna search style ah there we go that's a good one but as you see um, the insulation is still in the front of it so how do you uh, get rid of the insulation that doesn't belong here now you see you select the filter region and now you gonna go to the <coughs> menu right here and you set it bring to front so we already see the insulation will be behind the the filled region as you can see that's much much more better so the next step i will do is to make the hatch uh, a little lighter like the hatch right here so we're going to select the insulation hatch this one also right click over at graphics in view by element projection lines and here we have the color okay apply and okay that's the right color we want so for the next step again start uh, adding some text so for the text you go again to the annotation tab right here to text 
and click here text with no leader. Now we just click on it and now we have here the text. Now you click and there it is. Escape a couple of times and now we're gonna make uh, the leader so we can specify the different materials uh, in this detail right here. So we're gonna first make again a filled region, uh, circle one, and now we're gonna mm, pff, pa, 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 make it, yeah, done. All right, oh, whoops. Okay, make it 10, okay. Now we're gonna move to solid fill black, all right, accept. Now we have our little dot. Now we're gonna place the dots a bit more where it needs to be. So this one uh, in the middle, now copy. Right here, then we go here, then here, 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 and uh, here. So that's already looking better. I'm gonna move this one a bit right here. So we have our dots, okay, and now we're gonna make the line. Just so again, we go to the annotate detail line. And now we're gonna make a line from here straight up to here. As you see, we have our line now. And I like the line a bit softer. So over graphics in view by element. And now we're gonna do 80, 80, 80. Apply, okay. And now as you see, the line is a little bit softer. But, I hear you guys, guys saying you can make another line type, but um, I will do it uh, like this for now. So we're gonna select our dots and again, bring to the front. So the dots are in front of the line. So now we're gonna edit our text uh, and name the right layers. So for example, I'm gonna move Move it a bit right here. Now we're gonna start from top to bottom. So it will be in Dutch because um, I don't really know the materials in English. So, <laughs> but you will see uh, the point of it. So that's the important thing. So let's start. As you can see, the text is complete and we're gonna move it a little bit right here. So we're gonna select this, it can be a little bit more to the left, but we can also extend this a little bit more like this. That's much better. So for now, we're gonna annotate uh, the other things right here with some text. Uh, again, but with some leaders. So for example, we go again to text, then we go right here, but with a curved leader. So that means if you left click and go like this, it will be a leader. So you can point at this material to uh, say which name it is, for example, like this, there you go. And as you see, it's much more better. For the next one, you can go again to the text and click here again and also click on the material that you want, or you can just copy paste it. You, you select the leader, you copy it like CO, then you just move it right here and move on right here here and then we are going to need last one here 
and now we're gonna start editing editing the other one so for example we're gonna do this one and the bow must change so you see you can play with it a little bit to make it more prettier this one is uh, in 300 uh, the leaders are good now and the last step we got we're gonna do is of course adding the dimensions so you have one way to do it uh, like the shortcut you, you type the I and you can straight begin like this this oh. this and this okay that's how it needs to be or you can go to uh, the top right here and you click on it and it's the same so we're gonna do these ones um, you can click or uh, use the tab key so you you will be sure that you are selecting the right lane you want to measure now for example we're gonna set it here and now I'm gonna go to this dimensions. For example, here you can use uh, the tap key because he won't snap at it. So tap a couple of times. And there we go, the 90, all right. So let's place it. All right now, let's move this leader a bit up, okay. That's how it needs to be. Um, now we're gonna measure this once. So again, the eye. Now from here, again, the tab key. Here and here, of course. Now let's go. Um, now a little, I want them a little bit darker. So we're gonna select them and select all instance visible in view and now we're gonna use this one and hope again that's much better now for the whole measurement i like to add another color so it's um, better to read and faster to see uh, what the, di the dimension is so for example we're gonna measure from here to here the total width uh, our thickness and here we're gonna do the same all right and here we're gonna do the same there you go we're gonna move this a little bit more to the other side so it don't interfere too much now we're gonna move them up oh. and this one and this one right here okay now we're gonna select the, di the dimensions and bring him to another color for example um, you do again uh, override graphics in view by elements objective style and we're gonna do this one okay apply and up okay and the next step I forgot is of course select these ones with the control key up and there you go well guys uh, thanks for watching if you are still watching uh, right now so as you see this is a detail that we um, uh, have made and also the end result if you want to see it how it's printed well this is an example right here this is how it is when it's printed as you can see, exactly the same. So, gonna move this a little bit right here. And now, as you see, this is a detail that we just made. So, thanks again for watching. Uh, for more videos, uh, like and subscribe. And see you in the next video. Bye bye.